All right, y'all, it's your boy Fro, back with another review. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 1987 classic flick, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, starring Steve Martin and the late, great John Candy. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Now, now let's begin. I have to admit, this film flew over my head quite a bit on my first watch when I was around 12 or 13 years old, but I'm happy to say that I appreciate and love this movie a thousand times more on this recent rewatch, on this grown viewing, if you will. Steve Martin has a great performance as the main character, Neil Page. He has some of the worst shitty luck and timing that you'll ever see any character have in any movie. Neil was trying to get back to his family just in time before Thanksgiving, and to his bad luck, his flight is delayed at LaGuardia. He's forced to try to hail a cab in a very busy street, and unsuccessfully because Kevin Bacon pops up in a small role, he races Neil towards the cab, Bacon beats him eventually to it, and Neil was forced to look for another cab, he runs into this very rich snobbish asshole, Neil was like, I'll pay you for it, the money keeps going up, and Neil's like, ah, you scumbag, fuck it. And just for John Candy's character to unknowingly take that cab anyway, Neil Page is 100% down on his luck in this film. And that's when the great John Candy pops up as Del Griffith. Neil and Del were sitting across each other in an airport looking for the next flight. Del has a book completely covering his face. He lowers it a bit. He's like, yeah, I know you from somewhere. After a misunderstanding, they come to find out Neil's pissed off at Del for Del stealing the cab, even though he didn't mean to. During their very first encounters, Neil was trying to get far away from Dell as possible. He hates Dell. He considers him a blabbermouth. Dell was all in his personal space. Neil was not having a good time when Dell pops up. But we come to find out that Dell is actually a really good guy. He's very warm hearted. He means his absolute best, but he's a, what I call a catastrophe character. He screws up everything even when he doesn't mean to. And Dell decides to help Neil get back to his family, one way or another. And I did like that Dell was a quick talking salesman, selling off the shower curtain rings. He'd be like, This one's autographed by such and such. And it would work. He had that gift of gab. Steve Martin and John Candy's chemistry in this film is fantastic. I would even say flawless. These two go through a bunch of shenanigans throughout the film together, making for some memorable and comedic moments, like when Dell flicks his cigarette in the back of the car and we're anticipating for the flames to rise. Some time passes by and we're like, yo, what happens? And just when we kind of forget about it, the flames engulf the fucking car. And what's even more goofier is that they even drive around in the burnt up whip. So, But my favorite aspect of the overall film are the more emotional and sadder moments. We come to find out that Dell, who has a huge personality, who's lovable, who's goofy, turns out to be a lonely person. He's mentioned his wife Marie a couple times through the film, so we're thinking that he has a family to go back to, he just happens to be a traveler. But as we get toward the finale, we find out that his wife Marie has passed away for about eight years. And I gotta admit, when we get to this reveal, I teared up pretty bad. I thought this was expertly handled, a fantastic, poignant moment that's very sad, but it knocks the wind out of you because you love this guy throughout the film. He's a catastrophe character, but he, he tries his best, so you really care for him. He's a huge personality, like I said, and when this is said, it's just like, wow, a ton of bricks get knocked down. And me personally, this is my favorite John Candy moment ever. Now, we love him for his comedic side, rightfully so. But I loved when John was able to showcase his dramatic side. I just thought he was an overall fantastic actor. But to wrap it up, I highly recommend this film. Steve Martin and John Candy are wonderful. They have fantastic chemistry. You'll get your big share of chuckles with this movie and a fair share of laughs, but you might even get teary-eyed quite a bit with one or two or three moments in this film. I'm going to give Planes, Trains, and Automobiles a personal 10 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro. Do you like this film? Do you hate it? Do you think it's overrated? Do you highly enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. I'm not looking forward to the announcement of a remake 
in the next two or three years. If you look up on IMDb, the page is there with Will Smith attached and even Kevin Hart, which I'm not looking forward to. And that might not even come to fruition. It might not come to reality. It might not even happen. But if it does, I'm not looking forward to it. But that's it, y'all. Until next time, Fro, I'm out.